Hey love bugs, this is Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for uh, the support. It's truly appreciated. And to my uh, new soul family, welcome. It's good to have you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please, you know, drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just gives you a good vibe uh, and insight that you truly need it, please, you know, go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It's greatly appreciated. Um, and the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, so much is spoken during moments of silence. Stay strong through their time of stillness. You know, a lot of times, you know, you're uh, you're being guided towards stillness. You know, if you got too much going on into your life and your mind is all over the place and um, you just really trying to allow yourself to heal. And a lot of times it's like, oh, you know, it's hard for me to let go. It's hard for me to get intrusive thoughts out of my head. It's hard for me to break tides with uh, the old part of myself when I'm trying to bring in the new. Um, why do I feel abandoned? Why do I feel like I'm not accepted? Um, there's different things that's going on. Even they're saying different situations, even with your uh, twin flames, where there are some people that are talking about negativity that's going on into the life of themselves. And... Um, and for that to happen, uh, there's like negativity that's going on. Maybe they ghosted me. Maybe, you know, they're being disrespectful, different things like that. And it's just like from what they were saying is that when it, when it, especially if the, if it just seems like you're just at odds with your, your twin flames, they're telling you, you know, they, they are you and you are them. So basically it's like you're at odds with yourself. You know, if you're being, they're being disrespectful for you is like two, nine times out of 10, you know, even that's something that we don't want to hear that we're being disrespectful to ourselves. We're not honoring ourselves. And this is that, that time you got to take back and you know, with our twin flames, we can't be around them in, in the, in the metaphysical 24 seven. There'll be, have to be different times that we have to work on ourselves, you know, and this is what you're doing. If you're working on yourself and you're, you know, your twin flame is in, you know, still in the the vicinity of the living, you know, because there's a lot of us that uh, that are, you know, their their twin flames are no longer towards the living, so they're also helping you as well, you know, going through integration and stuff like that. But there's different things that, you know, you you're in silence. It speaks a lot because it's like, where's your mind going? Are you thinking about new things that you're trying to bring into your life? Are you thinking about, you know, what new route am I bringing in? Am I allowing myself to step out of that comfort zone and do something different within my life and not be on the routine? Am I giving myself that chance to be the best part of myself, to be the best version of myself by being able to try something out of, of the ordinary? you know, doing that. There's been different things that I've been trying and, you know, uh, and it's really upbeat towards me and it's really fun and I haven't tried it in a long time. Um, and then it was just like for me being able to do that, you know, I was just really excited about myself because I tried something new. I got out my routine and, you know, when you're doing that, it's just like this is at that time where it's telling you, you know, don't sleep on yourself. You, you have gone through so many different things into your life you know, you may have been going through things where it's been more down than it is up. And they're telling you this is your season. This is at that time where, you know, you're going through things, but they're telling you to see the life lessons and everything that's taking place into your life. Don't see it as a negative or a positive, but this is something that you needed to know. If you I have to be able to, you know, remind yourself a lot, you know, as well as me, you know, I'll tell you, I'm, I keep it very transparent. There'll be days that I'm depressed. There'll be days that I'm sad, mad, you know, trying to feel like life just isn't fair. And then I had to get out of that vibration and stop allowing myself to feel like I'm being a victim of different things that's going on in my life. These are the different things that's happening for me, you know, not to me, but for me, because it's allowing me to be able to step out of that just because my life is just going in chaos. Do I need to move in that same equation? No, I don't. It, just because it's chaos, I have to challenge myself to be at peace through those moments of chaos. When everything is loud, I have to be in my, my, my pro projection of stillness. 
you know, being able to really allow myself to fo focus on that. You know, if I'm going through times of weakness, this is that, that time I need to be able to gather my strength. Because there's a lot of times where we feel like I don't have what it takes to keep going through this. I don't know how much more of this I can take. But then it's just like universe and God is telling you, take a real, take a big step back. And being able to see how many other things that they don't help pull you through. Look at how many different times you have gone through things that many other people would have just hauled the other way. You know. Your strength is, you, you know, your, your co-signer. You know, you are your co-signer of strength. You know, that, that's your billboard representation of yourself. Just because of the fact is you have overturned so many different things that went against you. You know, you have been that one that was like a repeated offender of all the different things that you have gone through. And yet you have turned over every single time. And those are the different things that's showing you, you are a product of evaluation for elevation. You know, and these are those things that's telling you through those moments of stillness, through those moments of silence. This is telling you the universe is really speaking to you. You know, allow yourself to say, hey, get out of that vibration of thinking about the things that gone wrong and being able to know we're preparing you for something that can go really right. You know, don't be in the moments of fear and say, what if I don't have what it takes? But just being able to say, what if I do? You know, what if this goes way past the way I, you know, I never expected it can happen in my life if I give myself that chance? You know, because you have what it takes. If anything is disrupting your peace to where you're saying, you know what, starting today, I'm going to go ahead and allow myself to really step out my comfort zone. I'm going to really do something new. I'm going to really allow myself to challenge myself. And if there's different things that rides against that, it's just because the fact is it's showing you. You're getting out of that vibration of what you used to be in. Devil don't like that. He wants you to stay docile. He wants you to stay in that vibration of being, feeling like a victim. And you can never get out of these different things. And these are the different things that's taking place where uh, you can really go on. And to really, you know, elevate yourself in different ways you didn't know. You know, challenges are challenging you. And you have to be able to allow yourself to say, you know what, I'm challenged. These are the different things that I have to go through. These are the different things that are taking place in my life that I really have to understand what's, you know, what's going on. What did I have to, you know, what, what ways can I go in a different way? Did I try different avenues? Have I allowed myself to get advice from trusted people that want to see the best out of me? You know, being able, uh, you know, there may be different times where you feel like, you know, People are always turning their back on you and make you feel like you're the issue, you're the problem. And it actually, actual act, act, actuality, I'm trying to say, that you are good enough. You are worth more. You are worth of happiness. You are worth of love. All these different things that are going on that make you, you know, at times they'll make you second guess yourself. And they're telling you don't do that. You know, a lot of times the, the best people, the best people can go through different things and it, it can it can feel like you're getting stabbed in the back by so many different things because especially if you're allowing yourself like I said before when you're allowing yourself to really go through change you're allowing yourself to really go through healing you know being honest with yourself on every level every vibration this is where I'm evolving even the chaos that we created in our lives is like we we created that but when you're stepping out of that storm and just saying you know hey you know I, I created this for myself, but I can also, you know, because a lot of times we don't realize just even through poor choices, we can create something very hectic. But it's just like when we learn from those things, if we can be able to create something very negative, we can be able to create something very positive. And these are the different things that are taking place through that where, where we can be able to change different choices that we go through, different uh, elements that, you know, we're being guided towards. These are the different things that we know we can heal from, we can overcome, you know, um, being able to see things as uh, as that strength provider. And a lot of times it's hard to do that, especially when you're dealing with so many trials and tribulations. You're going through, you know, uh, you facing a lot of storms and, you know, you are that storm. You know, it was like, you know, every storm, every hurricane, every, you know, these are the things that are named after people. <laughs> you are that power, you know, and being able to know that we go through, 
you know, so many different things that speaks to our minds. It's just like, you you know, sometimes we got to be show ourselves that tough love. It's like, OK, you know, if I want to be in a higher vibration, you know, where we don't realize a lot of that, where the vibration is really being triggered at because we stay in our mind a lot. Um, and it, it could be certain things that we wish would change. It's actually changing us for the for the better. Um, different things that people have done is just showing us where we have to be able to forgive ourselves, knowing that we know better now than we did then. Being able to allow ourselves when you first, you know, we for us to be able to forgive other people, we've got to forgive ourselves. You know, forgive ourselves for holding on to these things. Forgive ourselves from allowing ourselves to constantly, you know, uh, focus on those things. Um, being able to, uh, you know, being able to see the the product of what we can create from that situation, you know, and um, being in that vibration, you know, is very powerful. And it's just like a lot of times going through our emotional stillness, you know, that gives us that time to have that that undivided attention towards ourselves, you know, because a lot of times if we stay active, we stay out and about, you know, uh, hanging with our friends, hanging with our family 24-7, you know, you have to be able to take that time out for self-care. They say this self-care is the most serious thing you can possibly do, you know, getting out in nature, letting nature speak to you, uh, scar, uh, what is it, uh, sky skyring, you know, just being able to talk to the universe, talk to, you know, the collectors in the universe, you know, everything is connected. And for those things to be able to happen, you know, um, just being able to understand that, uh, you know, being able to create something to be able to build that off of. You know, if you're at that vibration where you really want something new to come into your life and it's just like when you're doing all this emotional and spiritual clearing, you're cracking codes. You're getting a lot of light codes that's coming in. So I'll show you uh, different things to where what avenue that a hey, we're guiding you towards this way. We may want you to be able to start, um, for example, like public speaking and for you to public speak. You may be, you know, try some, you know, videos because I don't know a lot of times people, you know, I've had people in the past like, oh, I really want to do, you know, videos and you may seem natural. You may not need, be nervous. I say, you know, how long I've been doing this See, I, I don't, so there is I say I keep it real with people there'll be different subjects that I know is very touchy and that that will make me nervous is I don't know what but it was me stepping out of my comfort zone and being able to say you're not you're detaching from taking that subject personal even though it is very personal but just not allowing yourself to you know speak negative about a situation they're telling you to sp speak about and it's letting you know uh, have you gotten over this situation have you healed have you appreciated did you show gratitude with it you know are you know and detaching from that and for those to d different things to be happening you know when they're always telling us you know hey you know uh step out uh of you know step out and do different things this is where you you find out hidden talents that you know you never had uh, different things that you didn't know you were able to do, your cap different capabilities. And, you know, and those are beautiful, different, you know, beautiful things that you can really be able to invest in. And this is at that time, that's why they tell us a lot of times that we have to be able to be, be in solitude. And it can be hard at times because nobody likes to constantly be alone. You know, it's just like I can be, um, get, get, what was it today? I, I went ahead and posted, what was it? M Amivert, Amivert, I think that's what it's called. I didn't even realize. I said there was, I said I like to be around people and there'll be certain times I like to be able to do mixtures and company, but then there'll be a lot of times where I want to be by myself and want to recharge and do what I need to do. And I said, is there an in between of that? And I, next thing you know, I came up on a, um, I don't know if I, I think I screenshot it a while back and just thought about it and forgot about it or it was something that, uh, that was showing me about that. So it, it was just like, okay, you know, um, different things on showing me that. So it's just like you're learning more about things about yourself there. You, you may even have a hidden talent that is like some people have to practice. And then you, you end up doing the second nature. It becomes something that you didn't even know it was a gift to you. And that's where they're telling you you're showing up for yourself because the more you show up for yourself, there's no more new things that you're finding out about your source within self that you have so it's just like so many different things is you know you're 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 finding out about your strength you know it's just like you know um your your confidence is being challenged through moments of weakness and this is you know um 
when you're going through different things where, you know, you feel like, oh, I don't know if I have the, you know, the what it takes. And it's just like, are you giving yourself that, that chance to be able to take that chance to be able to see? And a lot of times, you know, universal places, different experiences in our life just to see, you know, knowing this is not going to work out. But the lessons that come about that. You know, it may not be fulfilling for you, but you learn the life lessons on what you did. There'll be like there's a lot of times where you uh, may take a trade in, within school or or a family business that, you know, is passed down. Because a lot of times, you know, you hear people that are, you know, are, are doing this because it's passed down in the family. OK, are you doing it because it's passed down in the family because you like it or this is something because the family has done to it and then you're miserable in it. This is at that time where it's telling you, for example, you know, step out on your own just because, you know, this may upset your family. Grant that. Yeah, it will. But it's just like you are your own person. You can decide what path you choose to take. This is not this is your life. You know, you, your parents did their job. You know, you're out, out, out at that vibration where you're sticking out and doing things on your own. This is at that time. Is this fulfilling to me? Is it passion? You know, am I passionate about this? You know, uh, this situation, am I passionate about that? Do I love what I'm doing? You know, and when you're doing that, you're saying, you know, are you loving what you're doing? You know, being able to have that creation to say, you know, hey, do I love what I'm doing? Do I like, you know, the things I'm experiencing within that? And if it, if it's something that you're not being fulfilled in, that's where it's telling you take that chance for yourself. You know, being able to sh shift gears, you know, with that. Do something that you know you love. Do something that you feel like this is something I can make a lifestyle out of. You know, if anything, if it's anything that universal place that into your life and that will give you that whole new strength that you didn't know was there. Hey, I have the right to say no. Hey, I can be honest with my family, even though this may be upsetting to them. But I don't feel like I I, I, I just just because this is y'all's thing that is not my thing. I have a whole new different thing and I want to be able to do this. And there'll be sometimes you'll have family that will not stick up a fight with you and say, hey, I want you to do what makes you happy. You know, I want you to do things that you feel passionate about because it's just like you you're in this life where you're supposed to experience life and enjoy it. You know, and a lot of times, depending on our circumstances and situations, it's kind of hard to. But it's just like we have to be able to make life worth living. You know, it gets to that point, especially, you know, if you've gone through a lot of things and you, you've been depressed and you've been sad or a lot of times we don't it's hard for us to see the silver lining through everything we go through it's hard for us to be able to show appreciation towards different things but this is at that time where you you have that choice to be able to know you know because it's like when i think about that it makes me think about that that you know i always be telling y'all about that i'll be a post that i'll see that you when you know about your life and you know how you create that every day it's like you're the author of this book and every day is a new page you write that story you can say uh you know this is going to be a positive day even though it may be some negative things out of it you know if it's something that i can change then go ahead by all means change that if not allow that to change me and my attitude you know, because a lot of times we can be in that vibration. I used to be that type of person when I've gone through different things and I'll get mad and shut everything down. And that's exactly what the enemy wanted. That was exactly what the devil wanted. Now it's just like, OK, um, if it's something I got to do right now, let me go ahead and, and do this. But let me take a breather first. You know, let me go ahead and uplift my vibration, whether it, it could be a funny video I can watch. I love watching cat and dog uh, funny videos. Those are freaking hilarious. Um, or I, I want to watch, uh, what is it, Room uh, 324 that has uh, different TikToks, scary TikToks on it. They're very interesting. Or, you know, go ahead and listen to some music. Go sing a little bit. I love to be able to do both of those. So when I do those things and I come back, you know, come back to what I know I had to get done and get it done. That was the whole point on that situation being like that. You know, it's like instead of you allowing yourself to really let circumstances that are out of your control control you, you're allowing yourself to adjust and say, you know what, look, this is a really crappy day. This is a really crappy moment, but I'm not going to allow this to get me down. You know, I'm not going to allow myself to put myself in a worse funk over something that is out of my hands. And it's basically they tell you, you always see the bigger picture of everything that happens. There's a blessing in every situation you face. And you, when you're doing that, 
uh, different things will take take on, but then you'll be able to see why you had to go through that. Just like I was saying, for example, you were allowing yourself to see you took control of your actions and your emotions. You didn't allow a situation that was totally out of your control, which happened on purpose just to see, just to test you to see if you were going to allow that to take you out of sync on what you need to get done. You know, if it was something that, you know, you're putting your all into and you're just getting frustrated and frustrated and frustrated, universe will tell you, hey, take a break. <laughs> you know, it, it, it ain't that serious. Take a break. You know, even though it was like, yes, it is that serious. No, it's not. You it, Where it's going to sit up here and make you have a stroke? No. Go ahead and take a, you know, take a breather. Take that time out for yourself. This is what you need to do. And these are the different things that it's telling you, you know, in the moments of silence, it speaks so much. So much. Is there's most spoken things just really being able to enlighten you in those uh, vibrations to be able to do that. This is at that moment of change. You know, there's different things that's coming up where you're seeing a repetition of of numbers: one one one, two two two, three three three, eleven eleven, twelve twelve. You know, all these different things is taking place, and you you feel like you're so out of sync of this life. And it is like when if you're so out of sync with this is is detaching from you. These are the different um, things is telling you you're changing your life. You really are changing that. And when you're allowing yourself to change, you're letting change change you. And then there'll be that time where you're just going to get that moment and you're going to look at it and say there'll be days that, you know, my eyes was filled with tears. There'll be different times I don't cry until my eyes swell shut. But then there'll be days that I laugh so hard my belly hurt, you know. And, but then it's like it was all worth everything I went through because it made me such a better person, allowed me to see the strength that I didn't know I had, it allowed me to see the, you know, the, the, the determination, you know, um, perseverance, the resilience that I didn't know I had. It showed me my strength that I had to be able to, you know, get reacquainted with. And that's, that's all that's there because there's a lot of times that we go through situations and we lose our patience. That's everybody. We, we do that. A lot of times, some of us will admit it, some of us don't. But there'll be different times where you go through those things. And when you can allow yourself to be honest with yourself, that's the most greatest strength that you can have. There'll be days that, you're, that your days are just not your days, you know. And then you can allow yourself to be that, you know. There'll be times where I'm like, ugh, you know, today was really funky. But I want to do something productive. Like I said, I love doing my videos. My my videos are very therapeutic to me. You know, being able to help other people is very therapeutic to me. You know, um, and being able to know it, it can be somebody that I can talk to or they can talk to me and they can go through some really crazy stuff. And then, you know, when you can be able to really allow yourself to pass that lesson of life that you may have overcome it yet they're 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 still struggling to make sense of this you can say hey i went through the same exact thing like wow yeah you did and don't realize universe connected you with those people just to be able to do that you're you're, you're a blessing there's you're always something regardless of what you go through or whether you're not treated kindly you don't realize there's somebody out there that got you on their prayer board you know you a lot of times you got to detach from the old to bring in the new, you know, but appreciate what the old taught you. Appreciate what you, you've learned from different connections with other people. You know, don't hold a, a, a grudge or a bad vibe, you know, because a lot of times you can go through stuff and you can have that, that moment like that person really give me a bad taste in my mouth. Okay, they really could have did something very skittish, very, you know, ugh, you know, um, but then it was just like you learned something about that situation. You learned something about those people. You learned something about that situation. You learned something about you. And for all those things happening, even though it could have been a, a really ish show, you know. But then there's some kind of gratitude you got to show out of that, you know. Something that you had to learn from that. There's like a, a subliminal in every single thing we go through. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all would love to give a post notification shout out to Chosen1144. Um, and Katrina Rainwater. Much love to you as well. Um, I don't know what time this video is coming out. I'm going to have a live chat and vibe today. You know, when people have been asking me, Rosa, you going to do chat? Because I haven't did it in months. I can't remember the last time I did a chat. I got to look back. But, um... I'm going to go ahead and start that back up today. I really miss that. I love it. And I love being able to interact with y'all. It's going to have different subjects. You know, sometimes, you know, I tell y'all, hey, it's going to be random. You know, just talk about different things. You know, catch up with y'all because it's been a while. Um, 
but the, today is going to be on different things that I know a lot of us struggle with if you're you're trying to heal from a uh, traumatic uh, traumatic past traumatic abuse that you have gone through uh, cutting off the supply of narcissistic uh, relationships manipulating relationships um, and healing from narcissistic abuse talk about those different things you know how to stay focused on your foundation instead of the fear you know different different things like that so I'm gonna start going back in um, and uh, doing those you know stepping out my comfort zone because I haven't been doing it for a while so it's just like now I really put myself to work so I'm hoping to be able to spiritually connect with you spiritually and virtually connect with you you know I used to have a lot of fun with y'all doing that and I would love to start it back up again and to see how it goes you know trying to be able to do these things because you know I, I think I did them like twice twice a week I'll probably start doing it two or three times a week again um, I don't know, but I'm, I'm gonna see. I don't want to make any promises, but you know, I'm gonna try to go ahead and you know let it do what it do. So um, hopefully you'll be able to connect with me on. I think it's like I think in Georgia, it's like what is it? Uh, yeah, what is it? It's Central? What is it? Eastern Standard Time? I think it's Eastern Standard Time. I gotta look it back up. But um, when I go ahead and post it up, but hopefully you know I'll be able to connect with you, and you know we'll be able to chat. And, you know, I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. A lot of times people hit me up one-on-one -on -one through, you know, DMs or, you know, email, you know, talking about different things that they're not comfortable with talking about on the tube of you on the public forum, which I understand. You know, I help out the best way I can. It's all about spiritual networking. I don't know if I said that. Um, but just being able to give you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose, uh, what is the things that... Uh, the next steps that you have to take and all those things so I really love to be able to help out on those purposes um, whatever we speak on is confidential if you're interested in podcasts I, I do also do my podcast in that place on my community page on my channel as well you know you can go ahead and do that or if even you're interested in doing podcasting I, like I tell people I really love it you know it really stepped me out of my comfort zone um, and it, it just really showed me about a part of myself that I didn't know was there so you know I always encourage people my like, hey if you you got a story you know there, there you, you become an antidote for a lot of people that's going through an ailment you know and go ahead and step out of that so you know being able to do that you know I always recommend that I'm like hey you know tell your story you know being able to show, share your experience with other people you know different things that you may struggle with different things that you may be trying to overcome or things you already have overcome you know there's always somebody that's out there that's looking for that answer you know and you may be that solution you never know you could be that total powerful power move of a solution so um uh, and if ever you feel generous enough to drop a donation, it will be greatly appreciated too. You know, whatever you are trying to manifest into your life, I'm sending so many different vibes that's gonna, you know, just, you know, th just to add weight to that. I'm like, I'm, I'm sending that manifesting, you know, I wanna be that manifesting plug. You know, being able to send them whatever you're needing, whether it's patience, you know, uh, persistence all that i'm sending that whatever vibes you need that way and amp it times a million you know be able to do that you know you've been working hard you've been working consistent on your on whatever you're trying to do and it just really feel like it's not going nowhere keep at it keep at it you don't know what's going on behind the scenes you don't know what's taking place you don't know what moves being made for you keep going Stay persistent and consistent don't sleep on yourself stay woke you know the devil be out there staying busy It'd be staying busy because he, he already knows he sees the potential out on you. He sees that light that you have within yourself to make the world change. So he may make you give up today because you know your blessings of opportunities may be busting th through the door tomorrow. So stay, stay, stay consistent. So uh, I hope you have a blessed, safe week prosperous week well it's almost close to the weekend anyway but still you know i hope whatever it is that you stay prosperous and and you stay productive so um you know um make sure you know through social distancing you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know all those things to really take somebody a long way and just because you did that without wanting anything in return it'll take you even further so much love i say Grand Risings, Namaste, God bless, Shalom, much love, peace.